Hello everyone, my name is Cherie and today I'll be doing a book review and the book I'll be reviewing today is Night Film by Marisha Pessel. Now this is a spoiler free review because a lot happens in this book and I really don't want to spoil it for anyone. Now I would say Night Film is a psychological thriller. It is the story of a legendary director named Stanislaus Cardova, I might be mispronouncing his first name, and his daughter Ashley as well as this investigative journalist named Scott McGrath. Now the book begins with a possible suicide of Ashley Cardova over the director's daughter but Scott thinks there's more to the story and he decides to investigate it. Now Scott has a history with Stanislaus Cordova and it kind of ruins his career that history does so I think that's why Ashley's mysterious suicide is so attracted to him something that he definitely wants to solve. Now we end up meeting different characters throughout the book and two of them are Nora and Hopper. Nora is the coat check girl who happens to come across Ashley the night of her death and Hopper is someone from Ashley's past. Scott ends up teaming up with them to try to figure out what really happened to Ashley. I really like the characters in this book. I felt like they were real and they definitely weren't perfect. Scott is a father. He has a little girl named Sam and you will see throughout the book that he has commentary on how other people parent their children but he is not a perfect parent at all. I kept thinking that he needed to stop judging these other parents and take a look in the mirror. His obsession with Cordova runs deep because of what happened with this career and I think that's why he was so determined to figure out what was going on with Ashley. Maybe he thought her father had something to do with it and he was ready to take Cordova down once and for all. Nora and Hopper have their issues as well and none of them are really truthful when we first meet them but they are meeting strangers and they didn't want to tell the other stuff about them if they weren't sure if they could trust them or not. I mean they just met. We also get to learn about Cordova the director and how much he is loved. He is like this cult following on the internet. It's a place called the Blackboards and pretty much you have to find it to enter it and it's not easy to find but the Blackboards was built by his fans and it's a place where his fans come to tell stories about Cordova, whether they're true or not, no one really knows. Because Cordova, he hasn't done an interview since like 1977 in Rolling Stone. He's very reclusive and we end up learning about him, but we don't end up learning about him from him. We end up learning about him through other people. We also get to learn a lot about Ashley. She died in the beginning of this book, as I said, but since Scott is investigating her death, we get to learn a lot of different stories about Ashley. And some of those stories pretty much creeped me out. I was buddy reading this with Raul from the Latin Lecture and I was sending him tweets saying, oh, that girl's a demon, she's crazy. I don't trust her. I really like the setting as well. It's told in the early 2010s decade and it's set in New York City and I honestly felt like I was there with them everywhere they went trying to sleuth and figure out what really happened. I enjoyed the plot. There were times I would say in the middle where it felt like I was watching a season of a TV show and you know how there are some episodes in the middle where it kind of just drags on and you're trying to get to what actually happens towards the end of the season. That's how I would describe some of the middle parts. I don't think I would take any of it out though because I'm trying to think about it and I think it all needs to be there. While I was reading it though, I could have removed some certain scenes, but after finishing the book, those scenes need to be there. While I was reading this book, I was creeped out a bit. There were times where I was trying to figure out what was real and what wasn't. I was really sucked into the book when I had time to read it because I was kind of busy while I was reading it, but I'm glad I took the time to read it because I really enjoyed this book. I also love the internet clippings in this book and some of them were pretty creepy. Like this one is a little bit creepy, like guy is just standing there and there's that long shadow and he is just standing there. That's a bit creepy. The internet clippings definitely added to a really good story. Overall, I ended up giving this book a 4.5 out of 5. I knocked it down 8.5 because of that middle part that felt like it dragged a little bit. But overall, I really enjoyed this story from beginning to end. So that's pretty much all I wanted to say about this book without spoiling it because I definitely don't want to spoil this book for you guys. Ashley dying is not a spoiler because it happens in the beginning of the book. I'm pretty sure you can read that she dies in the inside flap. But definitely let me know if you end up reading this book or if you have read this book definitely let me know that as well because I would love to discuss this book with you. We can discuss on Twitter or 
Facebook or Goodreads or wherever. After I finished reading this book, I took my paperback copy because yeah, I actually have a paperback copy of this book that I purchased a couple years ago, but I saw the hardcover for like $5 at Half Price Books, so I definitely wanted to get the hardcover. But as I was saying, I ended up taking the paperback and put it on my friend's desk at work and said, you have to read this. And she's currently reading right now, and she's definitely enjoying it. And I'm happy that she's enjoying it because when she finishes it, I will definitely have someone else to talk to about it. But that's all I have for this video today. I do think I need some more psychological thrillers in my life. So let me know in the comments down below any recommendations on any psychological thrillers that you recommend that I read. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.